Hi, I'm Danielle Harris, riding Route 666 to America's scariest home haunts. Who will survive and what will be left of them? That was the tagline for the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Did you know that it was made for just over $80,000, but grossed more than $36 million when it was released in 1974? It's unbelievable. This Blood and Guts classic inspired a bunch of spin-off movies, not to mention like a zillion haunted houses, including this next one. Check it out. My name is Joe Alaco, this is my wife Linda and my son Joseph. And this is our home haunt, the Franklin Square Horror. The unique thing about this haunt is I don't like to go to a lot of blood and guts. Yes, I do come out with a chainsaw, but I'm not actually showing blood and guts. I like to leave a lot to the imagination. The teenagers, I get pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I have to. They're, they're coming down this Good block. Job. It is my job. They're coming down this block to get scared. So, uh, you know, I, I don't let them down. <laughs> I, I scared them. I've been doing this for about 10 years. My whole family helps me out, actually. I do a lot of the decorating. My wife gets involved with helping me out. My mom, my dad, everybody gets involved. Upon reaching the house, you'd see a lot of the smoke and the graveyard, of course. That's, that's the, the main part of the haunt. You'd see the skeleton swinging on a tree. Our haunt is different than other ones because we put a lot more into the actors than we do anything else. My wife, Linda, usually dresses up as a ghoul. I just go out into the crowd and I sneak up and I scare them. My, my mother dresses up as an undertaker. She dresses me up with white makeup and black eyes and a tall hat. And I give candy out to all the kids. Ooh. Then we have my cousin Jerry, who's Michael Myers. Cousin Jerry, I play Michael Myers. I take a couple of minutes and I go into a trance. And Michael comes out. I have his walk and his mannerism down to a science. Drawbacks would be Michael Myers. My wife doesn't want to sleep in the same bed as me, but she wants me to bring the knife. I guess I play the main character, Le Leatherface, um, with the chainsaw. When the chainsaw comes, you're, like, screaming. I had a 65-year-old man roughly drive up the block to see how the house looked. I came running out towards him with the chainsaw. You didn't see him coming. He put the car in reverse. It's, right. it's like, it was, like, circling around. <laughs> he took off. And he must have did about 100 miles an hour up the block. It was pretty funny. <laughs> it was pretty crazy and pretty funny. I think the unique and the special thing that happens here on Halloween night is everybody has their own little part to play, and uh, it really works. I'm actually trying to get the whole block to do this, call it Trick or Treat Street, you know, the safest place you can bring your kid. If some maniac with a chainsaw were chasing me across the lawn, yeah, I'd be freaked out. But as a rule, I'm not so much into the irrational monster type. What scares me the most is the quiet guy next door who turned out to be a serial killer. Those kinds of monsters are truly frightening. Remember, home is where the haunt is. Boo. <laughs>